After a recent road test that covered thousands of miles of winter testing and what drivers may anticipate from the technology in real life, people wanted to learn more about the Ford Maverick's all-wheel drive system. Scott Wilson, a Ford metrology technician from Richmond Hill, Ontario, was a go-to source for information. For the 2022 Ford Maverick, Wilson worked on the all-wheel drive system, which is a crucial feature of this pickup's small design. While you have a moment, would you hit that subscribe button if you like these updates? and Also, hit that like button too. We really appreciate it. Okay, back to the story. As a first step, let's look at the anatomy. A front wheel drive vehicle means a detaching power transfer unit and an electromechanical rear drive unit that distributes torque to the wheels. That's what Wilson claims is possible with these two aspects in conjunction. To stop the shaft and gear sets from rotating, who can physically disconnect the system in cases when there's not a lot of torque to be applied. As a result, the driveline experience is less friction, resulting in reduced fuel consumption. So what's the gist of it all? Allowing all-wheel drive systems to function in a highly fuel-efficient sleep mode when full traction is not required, the all-wheel drive system components can be physically detached from each other. And as a result, the all-wheel drive system is disconnected. Its gears and shafts stop rotating, and you're driving in a fuel-saving front-wheel drive mode when you're cruising down the highway. The PTU is reconnected when the Maverick's all-wheel drive computer brain forecasts that traction is about to run low or when slippery surfaces perceive traction running low. It can re-engage all-wheel drive traction in about the time it takes a human to blink from completely unconnected to fully operating. An electromechanically driven clutch pack is used in the RDU to transmit torque immediately. Shifting the current flows through the RDU's motor affects the compression on the gears attached to it, allowing for instantaneous changes in torque distribution between the axles, just like a computer. RDU's clutch packs are powered by an electric motor managed by a module that monitors several sensor units. Every 20 milliseconds or so, Wilson adds, the all-wheel drive system will have its control circuit that processes the data from the vehicle sensors. Pragmatically, if the front tires were on smooth ice, and the all-wheel drive system could transfer 100% of the engine torque to the back axle. A single control unit that analyzes enormous amounts of data orchestrates this. All-wheel drive features a unique control module, according to Wilson. It's linked to the all-wheel drive equipment and the vehicle's CAN network to receive input from other automotive systems and sensors. The system uses many signals to improve traction and handling while reducing fuel use. In addition to the accelerator pedal orientation, yaw sensor, and longitudinal and lateral sensor, the system takes into account other indications such as these. With this approach, who will give Maverick's all-wheel drive system the most up-to-date image of the physical force that's applied to the car? All-wheel drive can adapt most appropriately to the actual driving conditions and demands by presenting the most accurate portrayal of the current adhesion situation. In addition, the Maverick's all-wheel drive and braking systems work together seamlessly. Wilson closely worked with the brake control engineers to ensure that the regenerative braking and all-wheel drive system function together efficiently. So what do you think about the all-wheel drive Maverick? Let us know if you already have yours and if you like it. Thanks for watching.